guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back. Uh, today I'm here with a different video. I was tagged by Autumn Beckman for the pretty picture handbag tag. So if you want to see different pictures of me growing up and with handbags, please stay tuned. some notes to help me remember what I'm talking about and I will be inserting the pictures above. So this tag was started by LV Lux Girl and um, and then I got tagged by Autumn Beckman and so I thought okay I'm gonna see what I can come up with because I thought it was a really fun tag. I really wa enjoyed watching their videos and Lady BLV her video was fun too, so I thought I'd give it a go. Um, so I will tag some people and I'll post it below because um, I need to think about it <laughs> first because a lot of people have already been tagged. Okay, so this was a challenge because a lot of my pictures growing up are at my mom's. And right now, Montreal is in zone red. Um, we're in the second wave of COVID and it is intense. It's a lot worse than the first wave. So we're all isolated at home. So I can't go to my mom's and snoop in her stuff, especially that, you know, right now uh, there's just been some health scares. So we're taking this whole isolation thing very seriously. So I had to figure everything out with what I had at home <laughs> from the pictures I have and um, from what I have on my computer. So here's what I was able to come up with. Okay, um, so I've always loved handbags, I think. I mean, other than when I was a really little kid. Um, so as you can see in this picture, I'm about three or four. I'm in pre-kindergarten um, and no handbag. <laughs> But I have my, I think it's called a popable, I think. It was like a blue stuffed animal and it had like a pocket in the tummy. And then you can kind of just flip it inside out and then its legs and everything would just tuck in and it looked like a big ball. <laughs> but I carried it everywhere. <laughs> that was my handbag back then. Um, then here I am at about five maybe. Um, and in a pretty white dress. Um, this picture, I don't have a bag, but I know there is a picture at my mom's somewhere of me and Easter in a very similar dress, maybe a year older than that. And I remember this so clearly. My Nana had brought me shopping with her. She had to go get some errands for Easter and she brought me with her. I, where was it? We were down in the States because my mom's family is on the States, so we were always going down. And I don't know, Sears or something like that. Um, and she got me a pretty white, like wicker um, hat with the pretty light pink ribbon all around it. And I had a little purse that she got me. It was like, an, it was in plastic. And it was white, like shiny white plastic with light pink plastic hardware. <laughs> and it was one of those kiss lock bags that you open up with a tiny handle. Um, it was made to look like patent leather, but it was plastic. Oh, I loved that bag. I loved it when I was little. It became my doll's handbag eventually. Um, but that was just... <laughs> It's something I remember to this day that my Nana gave me and that I cherished. I loved it. Um, honestly, I don't know where it's at now. <laughs> it might be still be in the house somewhere with all our old toys. I, I'm really not sure, but um, that little handbag brought me such good memories and I it broke my heart that I wasn't able to find a pic that picture. Um, yeah, that's really too bad that this whole thing is happening. I would have loved to show you guys that. 
Okay, uh, then this next picture. So <laughs> this is my senior prom. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, I'm in this pretty navy blue shiny dress. Um, that's actually a dress that was my sister Karina's dress and I just loved it. And so she was like, yeah, you can wear it for your prom. And it fit me, so I wore that dress to my prom. And I remembered I shopped and shopped and shopped to find the perfect strappy heels and cute little purse to wear with it. I had gotten my hair done and like little crystals all in it. <laughs> Very 90s. <laughs> um, or early 2000 actually. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, and my purse was a little even bag. Um, and it was like a navy blue, but purple, you know, that fabric that depending on the angle you look at it, like you look at it this way, it looks blue. You look at it this way, it looks purple. That's how it was. <laughs> it was so cool. I loved that bag. I never had an occasion to wear it ever again. So honestly, I don't know where it's at. It was probably given away. Um, but yeah, I thought it was awesome. I loved it with that dress for my prom. Okay, um, now we're getting a little bit older. Here I am uh, in New York City. So that was my, I mean, my husband today, that was, he was my boyfriend at that point. And it was our first little getaway to New York City. And I was carrying this hobo. Um, and this is a bag that I wore to the brim. Like I loved this bag. I wore it until it died. So it was a big hobo, like in dark, dark, dark brown, like a shiny dark brown. And it had like a gold zipper on the side of the front. So it made like a big pocket on the front. Um, and it was super lightweight. It was, I don't remember where I bought this, maybe Winners. That's kind of like a TJ Maxx in, uh, in the States. I think so. And um, I basically wore it for years and years and years and years until that leather was starting to peel off. Um, but yeah, I loved that bag. <laughs> and you know, now I'm thinking about it, I've had so many bags like between, well, so many. I remember I had a bag, but I could not find a picture of it. I had gotten it at Gap when I had started working. Um, so I was about 16, my first job. And I worked at Baby Gap, or no, I didn't work at Baby Gap at first. I worked at Jacob Jr. at first, but anyway. But I had this bag uh, from Gap and it was navy, it was all corduroy, a hobo again, all corduroy. It was navy blue corduroy on the back and the strap. And on the front, it was all patchwork. So you had like a red corduroy patch, you had a floral corduroy patch, paisley corduroy patch i don't remember the other colors but i thought that was the coolest bag i loved that bag honestly i i know i ended up giving that away you know years later because I, I had stopped carrying it and i'm not someone who likes to accumulate a ton of stuff that i'm not using so um but that was a cool bag and another one that i had when i re i remembered and i can't probably i have a picture of it somewhere with me wearing it but it's at my mom's um, and I remember my mom had gotten me this because we had gone to Jacob Jr., which doesn't exist anymore, for back to school clothes. Um, I'm about 12, so I think I'm going into secondary one, which is seventh grade for US. <laughs> um, and I had gotten a backpack, like a small backpack uh, purse, and it was white and navy blue plaid. I loved it. It had like the little pull and then it had the little flap that goes on top that you buckle. Yeah, I loved that bag until I outgrew it because then it got like really, really small and I didn't like it anymore. But yeah, I was so excited when my mom got me that bag. <laughs> so this is so much fun, this tag going down memory lane. Okay, um, this picture. So this is, uh, how old am I here? I'm about 21, 21, 22. Um, and it's me and my husband, who's then my boyfriend. 
uh, at his cousin's wedding. And I'm carrying a fake Chanel, <laughs> a fake Chanel double flap in the small size. And I love that bag. Um, I don't even remember where I got that. I don't know. Online? I, yeah, I don't remember. I think online. Anyway, but, you know, I've gotten rid of it many, many years ago <laughs> uh, when I started to discover, you know, actual learn about luxury. I studied fashion marketing, so when I really started to, to study fashion marketing um, and learn behind all the work that goes behind these brands, I just became totally against counterfeit. Um, so yeah, I don't encourage the counterfeit market at all. So I, uh, I really didn't want to have that in my collection and that conscious, um, learn, you live and you learn, <laughs> but it was, to me, it was a really good quality fake. And I had, I was very, I really enjoyed wearing it for like little, like special occasions like that. It was never a bag I carried like every day or anything. So I did end up giving that to Goodwill, um, but there you go. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay. This is me and my husband on our wedding day, <laughs> 2012. Um, and this is a little clutch that my mom gifted me. So it was like, I remember trying to find, because my dress was not white. It was like, a, but it wasn't off white either. It was really a particular white and I wanted to find a little bag to put my lipstick on in or whatever and maybe some tissues because knowing me I'd be bawling the whole day um, and I was trying to find the perfect white <laughs> to match my dress and my mom found it found this dress this bag for me and she gifted it to me and I still have it it's put away with my wedding dress wet veil wedding shoes but it was perfect the matching was perfect and it was all like silk or satin with gold hardware and like a jewel like a diamond right on top where the clasp is to open it yeah I love that I love that little bag thanks again mama love I love it <laughs> sentimental um what's next okay here I am uh enjoying the first snow of the year <laughs> and then the actual winter um that was my rud sack so it was an all leather black rectangle bag it came with the crossbody strap and it came with like a shorter handle to carry it handheld if you want but i never ever carried it that way um i always wore it crossbody it was a beautiful bag i had you know paid a couple hundred for that bag uh, red sack leather is amazing. It's beautiful. Um, and I ended up selling that. I don't know why. I stopped using it for some reason. Or maybe did I sell it to buy something else? I don't know. But I don't have that bag anymore. But uh, it was a, a really good bag. It was a really good casual bag. Yep. Okay. Here um, is me with my Lacoste camera bag so Lacoste I think we all know this brand um of like tennis and golf wear like the polo shirts with the little crocodile embroidery that's Lacoste so this is my bag from them I still have this bag I absolutely love this bag this is my casual you know I don't want to fuss uh easygoing leather bag um it fits a ton and I love it it's, it's so pretty and it's um textured the, the leather is textured to represent the texture of a golf ball, which I thought was really, really cool. And it's all gold hardware and it has an adjustable strap on it that you can remove if you want. I don't remove it. I wear it with that strap. Um, and yeah, I love it. And it was a perfect, perfect travel bag. So yeah, here I'm visiting the Louvre in Paris with my Lacoste. <laughs> um, then here I am. This was last year. Uh, almost to the day, right? It was end of September in Prague and um, with my Speedy 25 in Damier Abin. And to me, it was like the perfect, it was a great little travel bag. I also had my Lacoste on that trip. Um, but yeah, some days I just wanted to 
be cuter with my little handheld bag and I love my Speedy, honestly. Yeah, my Speedy 25 is, well, I have three Speedy 25s <laughs> because I love that bag so much. So there you go. Um, here I am again with my Speedy 25 Damia Bean. Um, this time in Paris, it was that same trip last year um, in front of the Champs Elysees Louis Vuitton store. Uh, I had gone in and I got um, a pochette accessoire and I got a book on Louis Vuitton that they had like a ton of books. They had like a whole section on Louis Vuitton books and I bought one. That store was so much fun to, to oh my gosh, to see. It's like, I don't remember how many levels seven i think although one of the levels is all like for the repair department and everything because i had gone up to the repair department i had asked this sa if i can buy a luggage tag and she had called the department upstairs and they're like yeah send her up so then they had to put in a code in the elevator to let me go up um and i go up and i'm waiting and i'm waiting in the waiting room <laughs> and finally it's my turn and they're like Oh no, no, they misunderstood. We do sell luggage tags, but you have to have a piece of luggage. And I could not prove that I have a piece of luggage, luggage because I don't have <laughs> any lift on luggage. And I couldn't lie, I couldn't. I mean, maybe I should have tried, <laughs> it's not me. So no, I didn't succeed in getting a luggage tag, but it was really cool to be on that floor and watching these people, because they were behind a glass, like a window in their, and their little um, workshop working on these LV pieces. And as you're sitting in the waiting room, waiting to talk to somebody at a desk, you're watching these artists work on Louis Vuitton pieces. It was so cool. And there was a section where it was a man working on LV watches. So I thought that was a pretty cool experience going into that store. Um. Okay, then we're up to very, very recently, like this summer. So here I am uh, this past August in Quebec City with my precious Alma BB. Um, I absolutely love it. I love that bag. Um, but, you know, she will be taking a rest for the winter. Uh, besides right now, I'm all about my, this bag right here. So this is a couple weeks ago at the Montreal Botanical Gardens. Uh, with my L'Enchant Le Pillage. So I'm all about that bag right now uh, because of COVID. So if I do have to leave the house to go run an errand, um, it's a bag I can easily clean and wipe down. So I think I'm gonna be using this bag for quite a while. And I did buy it with the intent of using it for the winter uh, because I won't be stressed with the snow or, you know, ruining leather or canvas because of the cold. And, you know, maybe as of March when it's not as cold. I'll be able to start using my Alma BB again. I love this bag. So there you go. Those are the pictures I came up with. <laughs> I hope you had fun. Um, if you did, please give this video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. If you like what kind of videos I post and you'd like to continue to follow me on this journey, please subscribe. I'm so excited. I'm at 50 subscribers. Thank you to my recent subscribers. I'm so, so happy you joined my little YouTube family. Um, I've really gotten onto a beat now, so uh, I am posting every week. Uh, and I have a lot of goodies coming up. Um, so yeah, thanks so much for taking time out of your busy day to watch my video. And I hope to see you guys next week. Take good care.